If I could interview anyone, Mark Twain. Favorite sound, Ric Flair. Woo! Woo! Nature boy! But yeah, I like Ric Flair. <laughs> I went to college initially to be a dentist. I thought I was a pre-dentistry major. Took my first chemistry course and it didn't really work out after that. I try to get up right when the alarm goes off. Don't hit, snooze. I think it just prolongs the pain. We have a small apartment and I have a new baby, so a lot of times I'll have to put my clothes out in the living room and then I'll tiptoe around. What generally happens with me though is even though I'm trying to tiptoe around because my wife is still sleeping and the baby is still sleeping, invariably I drop something that is large and fragile and it wakes everyone up. Get my news anywhere I can. I love news. If I'm not changing a diaper or eating food, or feeding my baby, um, I have my face in a, in a magazine or a book or the computer screen. If I'm not reading constantly, I just, I don't feel right. One of the stories that affected me, um, I mean this year, earlier this year, for sure, I saw things in Haiti that uh, no one should ever have to see. Is it? Oh my God. Get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out, get out. We just had to leave the building because there was an aftershock. There were bodies in the streets all over. No food, no food, no water, nothing. You're seeing it, but you're not believing that you're actually seeing it. I interviewed Paul McCartney, and that was pretty damn fascinating. Your father gave you a trumpet. You mm. returned it for a guitar. I asked him first. I said, do you mind if I you know, swap it in? He said, no, that's OK. I mean, it's just like the room is revolving around him. There was just so much energy there. We had said to our manager, we're not going to America until we've got a number one record there. So when we got into that press conference, we had the confidence that even the guys, hey, Beatle, what are you doing here? You know, how do you find America? That was pretty incredible. I like the voice of the American <laughs> Journal. I don't think my perfect day is much more complicated than hanging out with my, I mean, we're pretty busy and so is my wife and we don't get to see each other like a ton because of our schedules. But there are some times when we're just like hanging out on Sunday afternoon and look at each other and we're like, this is where we wanna be.